CirclePad, the easy web builder. Today we're going to look at groups in CirclePad. So let's go over to CirclePad. Now groups are not the most glamorous feature in the world, but they're very useful for organizing your web page. So if the most basic example is, for example, let's say we have this group of stars. So if I want to move these stars around, to always go draw a rectangle so they all move as an object. Sometimes you could make a mistake moving them and they get out of sync, things like that. So if I wanted all these stars to work as a group, I can select them and hit Edit Objects, down here Grouping, Create Group. And then if I do that, you see all the stars move as a group. It's very easy to edit and uh, it's very simple. Now, other uses for groups, if I want to go in there and edit the group, it's also nice because when I click on this and I click Edit Group, it just shows me the group members. So it gets rid of everything. So it's a way to organize yourself on the page. So if I wanted to take these and I wanted the, uh, I don't know what, like I wanted to change the, uh, the color of every other thing. I want to make the yellow a little more white, let's say. So I can go in here and change that a little bit and then hit exit and then I'm back looking at my whole thing. Now the neat thing about groups is you can put groups inside of groups. I could select, uh, we've got these monkey guys here, the circle bed monkeys. It says party tonight, bring bananas. And uh, let's say we scale this down and we want to have this whole thing act like a, like a big, um, let's say we want to put this over here and uh, this over here. And then we wanted, um, we wanted this whole thing to w move as a group. We wanted to be able to edit this as a single piece. So I can select all these parts and I can click edit objects and I can create a group. And then now I can move this whole thing as a block and that makes it very easy to edit and make changes and then if I bring in a new thing like say there's some kind of bar over here or something uh, like a something you know I don't know this thing is some big new element on the page and you want to organize these pieces in relationship to each other well now we can move these all these things as as a single piece without, without having to worry about it too much everything becomes really easy to manipulate and then if I want to edit it I can just hit edit objects at now notice too I can't edit the text at this level so if I made this whole thing as a group and I want to edit the text then I have to go in here and go edit group and now I'm in here bring bring uh, bananas and I want to put a period at, right there that's an easy change to do and I have to edit the group now here I have a group inside a group if I wanted to change one of these, then I select that, and then I go edit group, and then I can go make my changes on, on those guys as well, or then I can exit out of here. And that's basically it. That's how CirclePad works with groups. I hope you found that helpful. And uh, please visit us at www.circlepad.com if you'd like to find out more about how CirclePad works.